Good day. This lesson is all about direct and indirect proportion. Let me explain. Let's say you can buy burgers in bulk form, but you are going to pay $60 for 10 burgers. What will you pay if you want uh, 30 burgers? What do you need to pay? Quickly think. So you would like to make 30 burgers. So I times by 3. So the price here I will also times by 3. And that will be $180. So to buy 30 burgers you need to pay $180. Now, what is happening here is if the quantity increase, your price will increase. And this we call direct proportion. You can also represent this information in a table form. Let me show you. We are going to make this the X and the Y. And here we say the amount of burgers. And here we can say the price, and this will be in dollars. Now, I had 10 burgers. And the price was $60. And I saw just now that for 30 burgers, the price will be $180. But what will the price be if you want to buy 100 burgers. How can we work that out? Boys and girls, if we are working with direct proportion, then it means that your y value divided by your x value will give a constant value. It must be the same in all cases. So if I say now, let's determine the y divided by the x, so it will be 60 divided by 10, it will give me an answer of 6. Let's do it here. 180 divided by 30 will give me a value of 6. So because this is the same value, we are working with direct proportion. So what do I need to do here? I need to say my y divided by x should give me a value of 6. I have the y. No, I want the y. I have the x. It's 100. So y divided by 100 equals 6. And if you would like to solve the y and get the y alone, I can say y equals 600. So $100, 100 burgers will have a price of $600. Let's say you want to buy 120 burgers. What will the price be? Let's quickly work it out. So I will have y divided by 120 should give me an answer of 6. So to get the y alone, I can say 120 times 6. That will be 720. So if you would like to buy 120 burgers, you need to pay $720. Okay, now let's say um, you have $900 and you want to buy burgers. How many burgers can you get? Let's work it out. I have y divided by x should give me a 6 in this example. So my y is 900 divided by my x should be a 6. And then I can multiply. So 6x equals 900. Then I divide by a 6 to get the x alone. So 900 divided by 6 will be 100 and 50. So you can buy 150 burgers with $900. Okay, so just again, direct proportion, both if the one increases, the other one will also increase. Let's do have a look at another example. Example two. And this example will all be about indirect proportion. Let's say you want to paint your house 
And for you as one person, it takes 12 days to paint your house. So, if you can convince a friend to come and help you paint, how long will you guys take? Do you think it will be more than 12 days or less than 12 days? Hopefully less than 12 days. That's if you paint. Okay. So the thing is, indirect proportion means if one value increases, the other one should decrease. Let's draw a table for this information. We have our amount of people. And we have the days, the time, duration, the days. That's the X and the Y. So for you as one person, it will take you 12 days to paint the house. And if you are two people, how long will it take to paint the house? Would you like to guess? What would you say? Six days. Please, careful, it's not 24. It is six days. Two people will paint the house in six days. Let's see how we can calculate this. Because we are talking about indirect proportion, it means that my x value times the y value should give me a constant value in each example. So if I multiply these two values with one another, so 1 times 12, in this example I need to get an answer of 12. So, if you are two people, what should I multiply by two to get a 12? Six, right? And if you are three people, how long will it take you to paint the house? Let's work it out. So, X times Y should be 12. So, 3Y should be 12. And I can work it out and say Y equals Four. So I need to be have uh, four days or in my three people, altogether three people will take four days in painting the house. For four people, can you see now? It will take three days. Now let's say there's two days. You would like to get your house painted in two days. How long will it, well, if that's in two days. How many people do you need? Let's work it out. I said that x times y should give me a value of 12. My y is 2, so x times 2 is 12. I'll rewrite it like this. And if you determine now your x, you will see that you need 6 people, or altogether you need to be 6 people to paint the house in 2 days. So, boys and girls, Indirect proportion. If one value goes up, the other one will come down. How do I determine the values? If you multiply your x and the y together, they need to give you the same value each time. I hope that it makes sense to you now and that you understand direct and indirect proportion. Until next time, goodbye.